Hello everyone and welcome back to the North Star Legacy and do I ever have some surprises for you? As you can see we have a mummy, a mummy sitting right here in a chair and we are actually back home! So we have finished up our little vacation in Egypt. Not a lot happened. In fact, we actually had only maybe a couple hours since you guys last saw the adventuring Gina raiding all of those tombs. But we only had about a couple hours and I was, you know, recording and I was like, yay, maybe we'll find a mummy. And then all of a sudden, all of them got kicked back home. So <laughs> thankfully, I'm going to say that they managed to interview a nice mummy who they felt was perfect for their home. So, we now have a brand new mummy in the house. Her name is Isa Tara Lapis, and she's known as Isa for short. So, Isa is really awesome, and as you could see, she has her own place. When they got back home, I was going, hmm, you know, it's getting a little bit crowded in the household, and it's going to get a lot more crowded because Gina, Gina, our wonderful fairy mad scientist, is pregnant and expecting the next lot of kidlets. In fact, where is she? Gina? She's outside? What are you doing? Oh, she's like busy taking care of the cats. That's adorable. But Gina is indeed expecting if we can ever get down to her. God, oh, no, too low. But we had her get pregnant with Darian at the oasis of romance. So even though it was terribly hot and everything, tummy's still flat, but it'll, it'll pop pretty soon. I'm so excited. So she and Darian had their romantic moment at the oasis of romance and now she is expecting their next child ariel is doing absolutely adorable she still has several days before she grows up into a child which is plenty of time to teach her her toddler skills and hopefully teach her enough skills that she can become a genius because that is really what gina wants to see out of her eldest daughter well i should say her eldest like witch daughter because we do have zelda and zelda is actually doing really well too she completed that lifetime wish, which sort of blew my mind, but she did complete her lifetime wish of collecting all the animals by recapturing the same <laughs> reptiles that kept just escaping out of her pockets in Egypt. And I was like, you know what? I think what we're going to do is Zelda is going to have her own space in a basement. So that was actually the first thing that gave me the idea of having a basement. And then I was like, oh, and then we can move Gina downstairs too so that she could have more room for her laboratory. And if we give Zelda and Gina their own space down in the basement, because both of them tend to use the fairy house anyway. Oh, I was like, where'd the fairy house go? <gasps> we left it in Egypt, you guys. Oh no, that's very embarrassing. I'm going to have to get them a new fairy house and just a second oh my gosh but yes so uh, I was like oh we could move Gina's lab downstairs and Zelda can have stuff downstairs because she doesn't really use her bedroom very much at all and that way there's room for the next set of kids to have their own bedrooms down here so we'll be able to kind of trip these two rooms out maybe take down the wall if we have to raise the whole brood because if you recall Gina not only wants to have another set of children because we're going to be using the procreation elixir to have multiples but she also wants to clone Mortimer Goth in her little science machine and raise Mortimer Goth, the genius, her boss, the genius Mortimer Goth. She wants to raise a clone of him and, and just see what that would be like. Like, see if he would have the same sort of like world changing genius that the original Mortimer Goth has had. So that's something she wants to do in the future, too. So there's lots of babies in the future, which meant we needed some help. So we have now hired our mummy nanny, Isi. So I see EC, I think we'll call her EC. There we go, and here's the basement. This is the first basement I've ever built, so I'm very, very excited and proud about this. <laughs> but we have the basement, and over here you can see this is actually gonna be Zelda's new space. So she just needs a little fairy house to keep herself content. I'm just gonna kinda stick a fairy house in the corner and she can pop in and out of her little fairy house. We might even make it kinda jungle and rock themed because she's starting to develop a little bit of her adventurous side. Now that she has filled her lifetime wish, I thought we would have her become a ghost hunter when she grew up because she's so into supernaturals, but she hasn't really shown any inclination to take that path. So I think what we'll have her do for now uh, is just be a teenager. And when she ages up to being an adult, she will make her money catching reptiles and amphibians. So she will catch turtles and lizards, maybe some rodents, and she'll sell those guys. Like, we'll pretend she's a little reptile breeder. I would love to figure out if there is some sort of, um, Oh, you know, like some sort of way to, to use a mod to breed 
Your minor pets, kind of like you can breed your frogs in Sims 4, so that would be really cool if we could find something like that. But I figure she can sell and collect uh, rare insects, rare like reptiles, and make quite a bit of money that way, and be free to do whatever else she wants. She probably, I'll probably have her like write books and things about it. And right now, she's even allowed to tag the walls down here because this is her space, so there you go. It's very modern with a lot of greenery. I may be a little biased in how I decorated this, but we've got a wall of terrariums lined up over here and we can have some more space to add in more if we want to. And I went to add in the creatures from her inventory, but all of her reptiles and lizards and snakes, they all escaped. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one of them escaped and I remember thinking, oh, we'll just recatch them again in a second. And then we ended up having the trip end. So we lost everything and she'll have to start afresh, anew, collecting them out in the overworld uh, in a little bit. And let's see. Oh, yeah. Then we've got Gina's laboratory. So Gina's laboratory is kind of tripped out. It's got the little uh, like brain enhancement machine that we actually got as a gift from more to more goth for the wedding that gina and darian had a while ago so we have the brain enhancement machine down here i haven't tinkered with it yet but apparently gina can even upgrade it to tech level two and we can do all sorts of really fancy things with uh the brain enhancement machine after that so we're definitely going to upgrade it and while i was decorating oh did you see her corner look at the this is so cute i would love to have something like this in real life maybe i'll build something like that one day because that's beautiful I really like it but uh, especially if you could like get moss to grow up it <gasps> then it'd be perfect but I made a little plant corner because I finally figured out how to use move objects on in Sims 3 <laughs> I need to download some OMSPs uh, to keep decorating and everything and definitely some custom plants oh my gosh I have a desperate need for custom plants have you guys seen the small selection of plants in this game I mean oh my gosh Look at this. This is this is not enough plants. I need I need five million times more plants. I really do. I love plants. What's this? Oh, it's so cute. Okay, let's get out of the plant category before I spend the rest of their money. <laughs> but like we have this awesome little corner of plants, and what I eventually want to do is put like a couple of the really cool fountains in the center, and a whole bunch more plants, and some places for people to sit, some like artsy things. But this is going to be Zelda's space for now. So, and you, you did you know you can make another level to the basement? I was like oh my gosh we could put all sorts of like an elixir cellar wouldn't that be cool instead of Darian having like all his elixirs up in his attic which is where Bone Hilda has been banished to by the way poor Bone Hilda in the family for generations taking care of Darian North Star's family and now she's been banished upstairs but that's just because Gina's too scared of her <sighs> but yes yeah, so we have um you know Darian's little elixirs that he's stored over here and I wonder like open inventory <gasps> I didn't know you could do that you guys I had no idea that you could just like take them and store them in there and now I know and my mind is blown that's awesome that's awesome okay um but yeah instead of just having them stored up here he could put like a whole bunch of elixirs to age down in the basement like the deep deep basement and i think that would be really cool so that's a future thing that we're probably going to be working on too i'll put a second uh fairy house over here for for zelda to use and then finally we have isi's room so this is the awesome EC. She is really nice. Um, she, I love it. As a, as a mummy, she doesn't have to worry about her bladder needs or her energy needs, which makes her the perfect nanny. And she's very tidy and clean. Let's look at some of her, her likes. She's brooding because she is a mummy, so she's got a little bit to brood about in life. And she's a savvy sculptor because I wanted to give her some depth and personality as well. So she is a savvy sculptor and she has all of this stuff that, that she she can work with. Uh, I gave her the, the sculpting table so that she has something to do in her downtime. She's not just like our servant or anything. She has her own room. Uh, we'll figure out some way to like give her wages, I think. That would be pretty cool. I'll like pay her by putting items in her inventory and then when she moves out one day, like after the kids are grown, if she wants to move out, then she'll have like all these blocks of maybe gold. <laughs> we could go upstairs and transfigure some gold for her <laughs> from the, the philosopher's stone 
uh, and she's neat as well so she really likes to tidy things up and that's fantastic because you can just click over here go clean house and she will get to work which is great she's nurturing so she does like to take care of children which is great because Ariel is gonna have a bazillion siblings pretty soon oh my gosh look at her little face she's like I'm standing I'm standing oh she's so like her daddy she just looks 100% like her dad and she's our little witch I'm so proud of her I don't know what she's gonna be a witch in just yet that'll be interesting to learn maybe she'll specialize in making just love potions that would be adorable but she's uh, the mummy nanny uh, Issy like I'll get her name down eventually so Issy is also very friendly which is kind of I figure that she she like was cursed as a mummy in some tragic circumstances that she's kind of tight-lipped about right now but one of the reasons she's moved in with the North Star family is that not only is she getting to get uh, her you know a little bit more of exploring the world in a safe supernatural environment where she won't be like ridiculed people might scream and run but at least they won't try to set her on fire which is always a perk but Darian will eventually once the time is right try to work on finding a cure for her and develop Developing a potent cure or getting his charm skill high enough that he can cure her so that definitely won't be till the kids are like grown and we don't need a nanny anymore but that means that there's light at the end of the tunnel for this mummy lady right now she's gonna live basically forever 221 days so I think yeah that's even longer than Gina <laughs> So she really is kind of the undead gonna live forever, but she does have the opportunity to become human again and start a family of her own because she is nurturing. She's good with kids. So she's gonna be able to do that uh, in the future, hopefully. And like I said, for her personality, she just gets to like practice with making different things in her sculpting room. She likes to study the fragments from like the ancient times when she was alive as a human. Uh, she likes to read. She likes likes to grow things so she actually wants to learn the sculpting skill she does want to travel again she really does like to travel which is one of the reasons she's moved in with the North Stars and she wants to learn the gardening skill which is perfect for this household because we need like a full-time gardener and a full-time nanny my goodness uh, and she also wanted to buy some lettuce which I thought kind of applied to the more domestic side of wanting to like learn how to cook the kids healthy nutritious meals because the, the parents don't ever eat Gina like sips fairy pollen and Daria just eats conjured apples so someone in this house needs to learn to cook properly and take care of the kids but I'm super excited that she's here I love her room I love Gina's office oh, I don't think I showed you guys her office fully I moved all her plants down here and gave her a new container to plant one of her favorite plants um let's see let's put the walls up for a second I put in the the little like bone up on anatomy that's funny because she's a mummy <laughs> but I put in like this little guy I think I'm gonna see if we can still work him no we won't be able to work him there he has to have his own space over here and then we've got like our science machine which Gina really needs to research science so she can start cloning things so that when Darian has a rare ingredient he just he can just give it to his wife she can clone it and they can keep the elixir train like flowing <laughs> And then um, I want, I need some OMSP so I can put all of Gina's copper, because for some reason she just loves collecting metals. I need to gather up those and put them on some OMSPs I need to download, which will let me put them all over these shelves in nice little clusters. So I'm working on that. And I think this is, I think I noticed that this is like the wrong kind of, no, no, this is good. This is good. Oh wow, I could like buy sprites. That's not what I want to do. I want to use these as like, in tables so we'll have to see if I I think these are the wrong things for in tables let me sell these <laughs> I think these are like end of the future retail things and I want I just wanted like a nice a nice fancy end table is that too much to ask for oh my gosh that's so pretty we're just gonna use these nice don't mind if I do can I put these over here I can well actually it'll actually let me stack her <laughs> Copper ingots. Urgh, why does I have to be so stubborn? Why? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ooh. I love double stacking them like that. It just looks so cool. Come on, get over here. All right, we'll figure that out later. I'll mess around with it. Cause I wanna just like totally make all of her specimens overflow and look really cool. So we'll work on that too. 
And I love the holographic plant, but that's the upgrades, you guys. So we're finally back home. I love the mummy nanny's new, new little basement. I love how that's looking. I love that she's part of the family now. Everyone wants to learn like the sculpting skill now that she's got her little sculpting thing down here. But everyone's home from their vacation too. So there's a little bit we need to do. We're gonna let uh, Issy clean the house so she can get used to what the house looks like. She's not the fastest, but at least she'll get the job done. And she kind of mutters a lot, which is kind of awesome. Oh, look at the little whale. Aw, Zelda, that's cute. All right, and then let's have Zelda. She still wants to complete like all these wall murals and we haven't done it in forever. And she can clean them up too. So I figure why not just let her go ahead, practice. We'll pretend the fumes aren't totally toxic. Oh, and then, oops, don't be scared of your mummy nanny. Like they get a little bit startled, but I think they just need to get used to Issy. <gasps> Ooh, Soot, what are you hunting? Soot's off hunting who knows what. Oh, he's just stalking. And Gwendolyn over here is actually the babysitter that we had. So that's pretty cool. And the bird disappeared. So I have no idea what happened to the bird, but she vanished. So no idea what happened there. Uh, let's send Gina downstairs. Well, I wanna have her analyze uh, these Egyptian relics. So she's thinking about it. She's like, hmm. Gina discovered that the canopic jar red pottery is antique and worth more than originally thought. It is worth around $338. Yay! So we're slowly but surely like analyzing all of these relics. Um, open. There we go. And hopefully they'll be really cool. Wow! 2,644 years old. We'll probably decorate inside of Issy's room with some of this. Let's analyze all. The cat is stalking. Oh, because he's hungry. He's stalking by his food bowl. Aww. And Darian wants to teach. Darian is just desperate to spend time with his daughter. And he wants to teach her to walk. But she's hungry right now. So let's see. Let's go ahead and feed her on the floor. Gina's analyzing everything. It's OK, sweetie. Darian, feed your baby. You can't. There we go. You can't just magic charm all that away. And he'll sit, he just really wants to spend time with his daughter, teach her to walk, potty train her. And Gina's just going through, ooh, snake statue. I forgot we had a worth zero. Why is a snake statue worth zero? I thought it would be really cool. Oh, and Zelda has improved her street art level to three. That's awesome. All right, let's check out what Issy's doing. Oh, she's just going around cleaning. I love it. I love how she's just automatically doing everything, but very, very slowly. That's fine by me, as long as she gets the job done. See, she's fast there. We might see if there's a mod to make her a little bit faster. Just because I think... <laughs> Shock, fear, Ariel Northstar has just seen a mummy. She won't forget how she trembled like a big baby. Well, Ariel, you don't worry. You are a baby. She's just being a little fussy. Oh, calm down. Now everyone's like worried about the baby crying. Darian, come over here. Come over here and tickle your daughter. And teach her to walk. Zelda is now a nonconformist within the rebel group. Sweet. And then Gina is muscle dancing. She's not worried about the mummy. Yay, victory. But she is a little bit hungry, which reminds me. I need to get... The fairy trees put back in. <gasps> and it's our cow! Professor Cowplant, how are you doing? We'll have to feed him later. But yeah, I'm so excited, you guys. Now we've got everything set up. Uh, the family is all set up. The story for our awesome mummy nanny is all set up. I'm trying to remember where the heck... <laughs> I can't remember where our fairy house is. Is it in decor? I think... Fudge Knuckles, you, you've got to remember where to feed your fairies, you know what I mean? All right, let's try this. Fairy house, fairy house, where are you, fairy house? Not in decor. Oh, how embarrassing. But yeah, I, I left the fairy house on vacation by accident. So now, now we've got to find a new fairy house. Oh dear. Um, 
It wasn't, it wasn't in decor? Is it in like the outside stuff? Let me see, outdoors. Um, outdoor activities? Yeah, there we go. Little fairy bungalow. So outside goes the little blue one. There we go. And then we'll go downstairs. Oh, I love this new basement. Oh, it's twin whales. That's adorable. Oh, is this a, ooh, it's a fairy castle. Are you kidding me? That would go with the theme that Zelda, oh, come on, that's just too cool. That's too cool. That's kind of like, I feel like it spoils her a little bit, but come on, that's just perfect. All right, Zelda, you go ahead, come in here, drink some pollen, uh, throw a little fairy house party, cause why not? I love it, and she can just like totally relax and, and enjoy being in her, her little home. So this is gonna be her new spot where she gets to sleep and we'll have to start moving some of the stuff down from her bedroom because she does have some little relics and some cute little trinkets. I kind of want to get, uh, I'll have to look around in the mods for like uh, more storage things so you can actually use things at like this end table, for example, or like a chest as a storage spot and not just as like an item holding spot where it just is like a slot to hold something up so that I can take all of these relics and just keep them in a nice little storage location down by her fairy, her fairy house. Oh, look at her, she's going in her little thing. I wonder if she could turn into a fairy and just like look at all her creatures, but they might think she's a, a little fly and eat her. So probably not a good idea. Probably not a good idea. No, Gina, you are doing so well, Gina. Calm down. Okay, she's not doing so bad. She's not freaking out the way she did with Bone Hilda. Yay, it's all good. Also, babysitter, why are you still here? <laughs> oh my goodness, joke about children. Oh, we need to dismiss her. All right, well, we'll dismiss her in just a minute. Uh, I'm gonna stick the little rabbit outside and you guys, oh wow, he's worth a lot. Here, just, I'm just gonna harass him a little bit. Like <laughs> make him go, hmm, I might need to move because the cow plant is right there. But yeah, all right, you guys. I feel like the family really has some great help having the mummy nanny around. Oh, and I forgot we had a little snake up here. So we'll move this guy downstairs so that he can hang out with Zelda. And look at her, she wants to meet a supernatural. So I think she's gonna fit in to the family and she wants to clean the snake terrarium. <gasps> she's just gonna fit into the family perfectly. I'm so pleased. So we've got our new mummy nanny, yay! And we're doing really well with this little this little family group over here. Look at them. She's learning how to walk. Ariel Northstar just became friends with a celebrity. Her daddy. Oh. But all right, I'll see you guys next time as we continue admiring the amazing, ever-changing, ever-evolving legacy of the North Stars as they have their little supernatural family brood expand. So we'll have to see if Gina is gonna pop pretty soon, but otherwise it's back to the science skill in her science, mad scientist fairy basement. And I think that honestly, Zelda has kind of forgotten about her boyfriend. Yeah, looks like she has. Add an herb to a meal. She's kind of hitting that rebellious stage. So we'll see what goes down next time, guys. Bye-bye.